The new boss at the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, Eliud Wabukala, is confident that he will win the war against graft. The former Anglican church head who was sworn in today says he will take the graft war to the corruption cartels, adding that prayers will help him deliver the task. And as Caroline B reports, Wabukala has promised to lobby for more resources to enable the Anti-Graft Commission work effectively. I... The man of the cloth and former head of the Anglican Church, Eliud Wabukala, officially assumed office, becoming the sixth occupant of the anti-graft agency, EACC. The task ahead of him is definitely not a bed of roses, but Wabukala is pledging to face the animal head on. I am aware that I am joining a commission where the perception of corruption in the country is extremely high. However, Having worked in this sector for about 12 years, I'm aware of the challenges facing the fight against corruption in this country, and I believe that the experience I have will be important as I take over as chair of the ACC. As many as that opinion say aye, aye. as many of the country opinion say no. Last week, Parliament unanimously voted for Wabukala to become the new anti-graft Caesar, with some, however, telling the man of God that he should prepare to face tough resistance as graft fights back. Where he is going, it's not the Anglican church. <laughs> Neither is it any religious activity. He is walking into a very dangerous institution. We have gotten the right man for the right job. I know there are those who are fearful. They think that because he's a clergy, he's too soft for the job. He was sworn in in the presence of Chief Justice David Maraga and the Attorney General Professor Gidu Muigai. This is one a public office that is increasingly acquiring the ignominy of a class career. Probably the reason why we need a man of God. We are now working on a new law on the protection of whistleblowers. So I want to tell you, Mr. Ch uh, Mr. Chairman, that uh, the government remains very, very committed. Tell us what you need to get the job done, and we will do uh, the best we can to avail that. Wabukala is taking over leadership at a time when the country is preparing for the August general election. Part of his mandate is to ensure that those vying for the various offices are corrupt free. Wabukala takes over from Philip Kinisu, who resigned following allegations of his company's involvement in the multi-million NYS scandal. Caroline B, KTN News.